Hey, it's uh, Drewster here. Hope it's going well. Happy Friday. Um, so the new uh, Road to the Knockout team just came out, and uh, that being said, they have a new SBC, uh, and I think it's pretty interesting. I've been looking at the uh, Nabil Fakir, but uh, they have a Bernardo Silva one, and he looks pretty solid here. 96 stamina. I mean, great pace. I, I think he looks excellent, so um, anyway... Um, I went ahead and came up with some solutions here. I'll go through them quickly. So he is kind of expensive to get. You will need a road to the knockout players. Uh, so that those prices have hiked a little bit. Um, I was able to uh, get one on the market for about 23000 by now. Um, you need two team of the week players for these two teams. And then you need an 85 rated squad. Uh, thankfully, I've had some good lucks with packs. Um, and hopefully I'll have some more Lux with packs later when I open them uh, to kind of refill uh, what I have here. But we'll start here. So uh, I'll go, I, I mean, as far as the road to the knockouts, I think Gravenberch is the cheapest player you can get right now. He's an 82, so he fits the 82 overall rated squad. Um, the Ajax team is pretty cheap to build around. And thankfully I had a bunch of Spanish players that are just nice for chemistry. Um, so that one wasn't too bad for me 82 rated squad. There's multiple ways to do it It's just that road to the knockout player. That's gonna be difficult and Then oh actually I still need to buy Lacazette. Let me go ahead and get him right now But once I have Lacazette I'll have that complete um, and That one wasn't too bad for me. Thankfully um, I was able to get this guy pretty cheap. I'm not sure if he's in the team of the week now, but I bought him for, I think, 10,500 coins. A pretty much quick sell of what he'd be anyway. Um, so I figured that's a pretty good deal. And then just use, again, some of the team, uh, or, you know, some of the players I had already that were 83. Um, I thankfully had a lot of Premier League guys, but all these guys should be relatively cheap to purchase. Um, I can't imagine anything, um, being too bad there and then as far as this 84 rated team definitely a little more difficult I had some of them not all of them um, Romero I think is a good player to build around he's in the Premier League and he only costs about 16 K right now so I think he's kind of the big highlight here um, you need a Portugal player I had Ricardo Pereira which I guess was kind of lucky um, Andre Silva I guess fills this too um, I, I ended up buying him. His price has risen a little bit here, but he's another good player to build around for this SBC. Um, so yeah. And then 85, I mean, it's just a matter of getting rid of players you don't use, um, or, you know, finding, <laughs> finding Lux in packs. Um, and that, that can be difficult. Um, but I, I would say for the most part, these players aren't, you know, too bad to get here. Um, but again, uh, there are a lot of players I don't use that are just kind of sitting and waiting to be using an SBC. So I figure, why not this one? Let me go ahead and uh, get uh, Lacazette real quick. And then I will turn this in to get Bernardo Silva. And that's not it. Just for time's sake, see if we can get them pretty cheap. It looks like we can. I saw them going around that price anyway. What's the cheapest we can get them for? Okay, I guess 1400 I, th I thought he had a decent season last year. Now he's a non-rare player, but it is what it is. So, um, yeah, without further ado, I will go ahead and uh, turn in this SBC to get that, um, I would say, at least going to be 89 rated. He might even get up to 90 if they can win the next three games, but for sure they have the toughest group. And then, of course, you get the packs to open, so that's pretty nice. I won't open those right now. I'll open them later um, when I open the rest of my packs. Oh, 
Oh yeah. And that was um, what's his name? That was Hoybjerg. It's a shame you can't have more than one. I think maybe you should have two, but not having, uh, not being able to have more than one, definitely makes it a little more complicated and <laughs> kind of annoying when you're trying to, you know, pre-build these things. Okay. So there's that one. Yeah, that squad is giving me trouble today, that's for sure. Um and then last but not least, um yeah. Cool. I happen to do it right this time. <laughs> no no big errors other than uh, La Cazette. Um But that's a solution to get Bernardo Silva. I feel like it's pretty simple. I, th I want to say I had maybe about 50k before I started this. Maybe a, a little bit less. Maybe like 48, 49. Um, so all in all, you know, it'll cost you anywhere from probably 50 to 100k. Might even cost you a little bit more if you don't have uh, some of those players already. Um, but I would go ahead and get that uh, road to the road to the knockout player now. And of course, there's uh, some you can do by doing the various challenges. That would be the easiest way to get it. Um, but I just I didn't want to do that yet. But of course, let's see him come out. Looking good. And I'm a huge Bernardo Silva fan. I've liked him ever since he's in Monaco. Um, and they should go far. I think these Road to the Knockout players are the same as the Road to the Final. Yeah. Oh, I guess it says right there. So I expect them to go pretty far. I figure for what he's worth now, he will absolutely be worth it. Well, you know, City should go pretty far. They've got so much depth. Excellent. Well, uh, that's how to do that. So, uh, yeah, like I said, definitely worth it. Um, four star, three star, high, high work rate. It's that 96 stamina for me that makes me like him and that 95 agility with um which is dribbling 93 so i mean that's that's pretty insane um i think he's an excellent cam he can even fit those uh speedy you know super fast teams that people like to build and and again i think for what you get um for how little you have to pay um i i would say he has a chance to be one of the better players probably in the game and again he has a chance to be a 90 before they even get to the um, I mean, truly have to play a game in the round of 16. And again, they should go to at least the semis. Um, but we'll see. They've been underwhelming sometimes. Well, that's it for now. I will open more packs later. Um, and hopefully I've got uh, good pack luck. I have uh, recently, you know, knock on wood here. But uh, yeah, that'll be it for this one. And uh, tune in soon for another video. Have a good one.